Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Southampton, Pennsylvania. Decided to show you another uh, product from the Jayco J Feather Micro Series. We're looking at the smallest one, the 12 SRK. Brand new model by them. Let's take it around the outside, the inside. This is going to be one of those great minimalist campers. For those of you not looking for too much space, just something to spend the night. Maybe going hunting, want to sleep in space, go out for a weekend, have a nice place to stay, a nice area. This will be for you. Starting up front, you've got a nice 30 pound propane tank. Nice to see as well as an electric tongue jack. A unit of this size usually gonna find the hand cranks. Turn your back out, trying to get that thing up and down. It's a really nice setup here on the front. We are a fiberglass outside. It does come with Jayco's two plus three year warranty, which is great to see. One of the best industry warranties that you can get here. On the side here, you do have your nice step up into the coach. You've got a little light for the outside as well. There's a light switch and a couple outlets for if you wanna plug some things in while you're hanging outside, you can certainly do so. This also has the glacier package on board still. So you're still getting that heated, enclosed, and insulated underbelly, which is great for any of you that are doing uh, some cold camping. This will be good inside there. Got the nice off-road Goodyear tire package, 15 inch wheels, nice tire on there. For any of you that want to go a little bit off the grid, you can do so. On the roof, you've got the Thule roof rack, which is nice to see as well as the solar panel up there. It's got a little fan vent. And then an antenna up there for you as well because you do have a tv back out here this is probably going to be the bulk of your outside entertainment or all of your entertainment really you can't get a tv on the inside but back out here is a really nice area if you want to park up pop the back open here it's up on some struts you can get some cooking going on out here Let's see if i can do this one hand with this now you've got all the attachments but you're gonna have the blackstone griddle here the attachment for that you can set up be able to do some nice cooking on there you've also got the fridge this is what they give you with this you can uh, in the box right now, but you open that up. You got a lot of space in there for your end of your cold goods that you want to get. This TV has a sound bar built into it. You've got a couple outlets under here as well with some light switches and a little bit of storage up on top. These racks you can mount some things onto here if you like. On the other side, you'll find your 30 amp connection. You've got your city water, your tank fill, and a little spray port if you wanted to do a little outside outside shower deal you could do that hook the hose right onto there and you'll be good to go what's nice about these wells as well you can step up onto them they are fully standable so you can get up and get onto your roof and clean off your panel or see your vents just put anything up on your roof rack that you might want to take along with you very easy access it's nice that you can stand on them a lot of other models if you stand on the well it's going to bend in or it's going to separate from the siding over here on this side, you'll have your outside storage. It's got a battery disconnect switch in there as well. You'll find your 30 amp power cord, your crank as well. And this is pre-wired for the side cameras if you wanted to get. Probably wouldn't need so much on a unit of this size, but for those of you that might want it, you've got it. Coming up here to the inside, this does have the Asdell backing on, which is nice to see. On the inside here, I'll get rid of our TV box here. Throw that outside. Right away, you do have a little bit of storage. That's the outside storage there that you can access through the inside. Or you've got a little more space. That one actually has your hose. Again, very simple space. The necessities for just hanging out. Sit down on your sofa here. Don't mind the sawdust here. We got to give this a little quick vacuum. We just got off the truck. But when you're sitting in here, you do have a spot to mount a TV if you want to do so. You've got the 12-volt plug, the cable hookup. It's got a couple outlets over here as well and some storage cubbies along the side. That's a solar controller for your solar panel, which is on the roof. And you'll find a couple light switches here, your water pump, your tank level readers, your battery reader. Over here, you do have the nice pop-up USB and outlets here more outlets down below there a couple storage cubbies here and you'll find some up above as well and when you remove this cushion away from here you've actually got some hidden down below here where your manuals are at and throw some things under there what's nice about this room is when you lay this bed down flat it gives you about another i'd probably say eight inches of headroom here so you can put your pillows down and lay down and move my keys here See if I can do this one-handed, lay this all down flat. You can see you've got your whole bed space here. You can lay down and 
again, that'll give you the extra head space there, which is nice. So you're not just relying on the sofa area. You do have a fan up above that as well. If you wanna park up, turn on your fan, you can open the vent up, let that go. This area is small enough where that'll be able to pull out a ton of air. You can open up your window here and it'll be nice to draw the air in and out. If I lay down here, I'm about five foot 11. I'm all the way to the back here. I've, I've still got maybe six inches to the end of my feet there. So definitely plenty of sleeping space. You can certainly fit two on here. This is the Jayco, the 12 SRK. Here, Fretz RV or Savington, Pennsylvania. Pull down shade here. Don't forget that. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any questions on this model, feel free to shoot me one of the comments. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to keep up with further content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.